I have got a very, very special guest in the building, Carneo Beats. What's up, man? What's up, man? How, How you doing? doing? I'm good. Good, good, good. Welcome to the UAE. Thank you very much. You having fun on vacation? Oh, it's wicked, yeah. It's nice, huh? It is brilliant, yeah. Beautiful well, weather. I um took my wife out here for her birthday. She didn't know she was coming, so... Oh, that's amazing. That's a nice <laughs> surprise. Wow, very nice. Cool. So, uh, Carneo, what would... If somebody didn't know you, what would you say is, first of all... Uh, your style of music and how did you get your start? What what got you into it? Uh, many, many years ago. I started with uh, garage music. <laughs> and um, Really? Yeah, garage. I used to mix um, hip-hop music with other hip-hop uh, instrumentals and acapellas a long time ago. And then just liked all the bassy stuff, all the, the live um, instruments mm -hmm. and stuff like that and then yeah just wanted to influence it and push it onto the house side okay so okay. I do like my stuff a little bit raw okay and with like deep bass hard drums and uh, probably some samples from old hip hop or oh that's amazing yeah, okay so, so there's influence from, from, from all over the place in that yes okay yes. okay cool and uh, so let's see, one of your uh, one of your latest releases we're going to actually play uh, for those who are listening right now. But uh, let's get into a little bit of what you may have coming up in terms of music. Um, any releases maybe later this summer, this year, potentially. What do you yeah. got? What do you um, got cooking? I've got quite a lot of stuff. Um, I've got a ne I've got another track coming with uh, Lupe. OK. Lupe Fuente. We've got collaboration. I got another one with Roger Sanchez later on in the year. Amazing. A really really good special one. Amazing. And, uh, I think that that's a really good one. A few uh, more tracks on his label as well. Okay. On his other under the radar record label. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, there's so many. I got just dropped a, a few releases on Flash Mob uh, records. Right. And um who's the other uh, yeah, there's there's been tons and in the pipeline I'm working on my next single okay so um, MK if you're hearing me what <laughs> uh, yeah let's get on, let's get onto that <laughs> oh my goodness that is amazing that that I oh well I'm fingers crossed yeah. fingers crossed yeah yeah well hopefully it'll happen because I think that would be some magic yes that would definitely be some magic definitely. now um, Carneo uh, if we or if somebody were to want to follow you on social media keep up with your releases uh, and keep up with you what, what you're doing um, you know just in life in general are you on uh, Twitter Instagram yeah, etc um, Instagram Carneo Beats or uh, C A R N A O Beats. Mm -hmm. um, Facebook, Twitter. Okay. Um, yeah, all the all the all the socials really. Right. You can see it very easy to find me and get in contact and emails are there and sweet all that stuff. Sweet. Okay, so it's at Carneo Beats on social media. Now there is one question, and I think this is the biggest question: When can we expect you back in the UAE for a performance? I would love to come out here to do a performance. We need it, man. And as soon as the sooner the better. Okay. Like, the, I've got so like when people book me for shows like around the world, Miami, uh, London, mm -hmm. UK, all them places. Like Roger, he he loves what I do and my sound. Yeah. And he knows what I bring to the table. Um. So coming out here. I could set the dance floor on fire. Well, we're waiting for it. We're <laughs> waiting for it. So yeah, anyone out there? What's let's go. What's been your uh, your favorite city to perform in around the world? I think um, up till now, Miami. Miami. Yeah, I do like that. It's because it's got the hip hop influence as well. Right. So with house, I know they're fairly new to house, but when it's WMC and that time of the year, mm -hmm. everyone listens to house music and. Yeah. The people that listen to hip hop, they're like you. You bring them in, and yes, they're, and they're like, I didn't know it was like this. We thought it was the, it the traditional house music, mm -hmm. you know? and the infusion of the two is really nice. When actually, you, yeah, when you bring it together, the hip hop guys are not like, oh my god, this is not like what we normally hear mm -hmm. the EDM stuff. Mm -hmm. So, they um, they get involved. That's really and cool. It's nice. Man. It's nice to bring that touch to. Um, to Miami yeah you know what I mean so that's awesome that's a city I've never been to myself so I love it that would be amazing except, except for here is, it, this is probably 
top. Oh, the UAE. This is top tier, I think. Don't even get me started. <laughs> I, I'm loving it here. I think everybody does. And just the way that, you know, I, I, I speak often about when, when it comes to music and especially dance music here in the UAE, uh, people are just such, it's more than fans. It's just when, you, when you're out on the dance floor or whatever, you feel it, you live it. It's not just, you know, you're going to, to listen to something. Yeah. It's a real experience exactly. uh, everywhere you go here in uh, in this country. So um, that's why I'm saying we're waiting for you to come and, and really. I'm ready. I'm the, ready now. It's going to be lit. <laughs> I'm excited for it. So um, so we're expecting some a lot of new music from you actually uh, music, coming yeah. soon. What we're going to do now actually though, uh, Carneo Beats, before or right after we wrap up this interview is we're going to play one of your latest releases with Roger Sanchez. Yeah. It's called Moonbow. Do you want to talk uh, a little bit though about how that came about? Well, this one is an EP release with uh, myself and Roger mm-hmm. um, and a record label called Time Bandits from Manchester. Okay. They do massive parties around the world. Okay. And, um, in the, and they just basically wanted to push the record and they wanted it basically. There was, yeah. he was, he was on me. Awesome. He wanted it. And awesome. then, um, yeah, so, and then me and Roger wanted to put a two track on there. Right. And um, this is the first number one on the on the on the list mm-hmm. i went we wanted to push it so uh yeah Mumbo is is a killer track well and the fact that <laughs> uh that you and roger are going to get back in the lab again and and make something just means that there was definitely some it's magic always, there it's always exciting working with him he's a legend and he's shown me so much like like in the scene and how to approach the scene in different ways Absolutely. ways that i didn't know of yeah because he's been in the game for such a long time and he's like he's not even like a musical guy to me anymore he's like a mate he's like a friend right so right. me and him we always touch base all the time so working with him and a friend together is it's the best exactly it's it's a, it's a friend and it's also one of the ogs original exactly exactly <laughs> awesome all right so uh carneo beats anything else you'd like to say before we wrap this up no i want to say thank you to yourself thank you man for coming in it's a pleasure and meeting smooth you over there and um yeah thanks guys for having me of Touch. course, of course, you're welcome. All right, give him a follow at Carneo Beats on social media. Without further ado, here it is for you alongside Roger Sanchez. It's Moonbow on 97.8 Dance FM.